A thumbnail sketch is a perfect way to start planning out your composition. You don't have to worry about any little details or getting anything perfect. You just scribble out some ideas and you can develop them later. Just look at this scribble by Carpeau and see how it became a masterful sculpture. So one thing I do before I start the thumbnail is actually just write out a list of all the objects I want to include in the composition. This way I don't leave anything out. But you always want to make sure you have that main subject in mind because that's what the design is going to be developed around. If we have several points of interest, it becomes more about the environment rather than any main subject. A great example of this is a painting by Otto. There's not specifically one subject that stands out amongst the rest. He's just got a complex composition full of little details. At first glance, we see a nice still life, but when we look closer, we see a kind of like a tiny world he's created. Knowing the main subject and story allows you to communicate the story with more clarity. The inanimate objects, like the flowers and leaves, gain less attention than the insects. If the insects weren't there, the story would be more about the flowers rather than the little creatures living around them. We can see the difference in this still life by Fontaine Latour without insects. It's more about the flowers than anything else. So while we're here, let's just run through his painting real quick and look at all the design techniques he used. That'll be a little refresher for us, plus it might inspire us for when we do our thumbnail sketch. Now that our memory is fresh with the design techniques, let's start creating our thumbnails. All right, so let's just start by making a list of our objects that we want to include. Okay, this composition has a snail, ladybug, a log, vines, leaves, roots. We have a stick. rocks, flowers, and some grass. That's a nice little list we got. Now let's scribble out some ideas and see if we can start to organize the list that we just created. So the main subject is the snail and a story we can create within the composition is the interaction between the snail and the ladybug and then they're in their own environment. So I'm using the HB mechanical pencil for this, but you can use any pencil you like. All right, so the first thumbnail, we'll just start with the snail. We're gonna put it just a little bit off center and just scribble in some ideas, keep it kind of light. And then I wanna place that log because I want it on that Baroque diagonal. So we're just gonna roughly kind of find the Baroque diagonal there. And we're just sketching it in. Keep it nice and loose. And the log's gonna have a couple openings here, so I'm gonna create one there and there. Okay, so there we have the snail and the log. Now let me place a flower, because I know I want a flower around here because it's high contrast and the way we read the composition we can pull the eyes up into this upper left corner and then redirect it towards the snail and then create a lot of movement that way. Let's do another flower right here. And then maybe one down here, smaller ones. Okay, and then I'm gonna create some vines around it and coming out of the log. I'm just kind of keep this movement in mind. I'm gonna create these arabesques around with the vines, but just to give us some ideas of where we wanna take this. Maybe the sticks down here, a couple rocks right here, and then the ground plane can be right around here, and then maybe some grass, sketch in some leaves. more vines so 
some grass right here. So you want to kind of fill in this negative space, maybe create more of the environment. And then some roots. A couple more leaves up here. So you can see the composition starting to come together. Some more roots. A couple grass areas. So we got snail, ladybug. We'll put the ladybug over here on the flower petal. Log, vines, leaves, roots, stick, rocks, flowers, and grass. So we got pretty much everything. I'm gonna make this ground plane here. Okay, so that's the thumbnail sketch. Nice and scribbly. Now, if you get comfortable enough with the design techniques, you can start to sketch out some design techniques here that you want to incorporate in the composition. So a great way to inspire the design techniques you're going to create if you get to that point is just to look at your thumbnail sketch and see what's starting to develop. You might have arabesques already starting to develop or ellipses or coincidences, things like that. You'll start to incorporate these, but for now I'm kind of seeing an ellipse here going around this way. So that's a design technique we can emphasize when we start to develop the composition if we want. Definitely have that dominant diagonal there. And then we can look for triangles. Maybe we want a triangle here so we can keep track of that. And then maybe out of the ellipse we want an arabesque to go across here and over here. So that's just one way we can keep track of the design process and any design techniques we see within the thumbnail sketch. Okay, let's do one more thumbnail sketch and this one we can maybe create, say you wanted to have a bottle instead of a log. So let's just do the same kind of composition, but have a bottle there. So we'll have the bottle on a broke diagonal. Just keeping this loose and light. So create this bottle. And then the ground plane, we'll put the snail kind of in the same spot, have the same story. We'll have vines coming out of there, same as last sketch. Maybe we want them curving a little differently. Put the flower here. Maybe another flower here. And since we don't have an opening in the bottle, we can put some vines inside. And then we can show some of the vines mixing with the roots inside the bottle. Maybe still have that stick there. Some rocks for that triangular enclosure. And then put some leaves in here. Just working out ideas, keep it nice and rough. And if it comes out nice, you can refine it later. I'll put some grass here. And maybe you could put like another flower down here. Since it's kind of empty now. Some more grass, a couple more rocks, another flower. All right, so that's the thumbnail process. Now we're ready to tape the grid onto our paper and start the design.